Hey there, it's Jim from Janku, and today I want to take a look at mirroring in Inkscape 1.0. So I'm over here, and normally if I come over and I grab the rectangle tool and I draw a shape, it could be anything like this, you're probably familiar with the concept of editing these nodes individually. So the first thing you'd have to do is actually, you'd have to come up here and convert this object into a path. So go to path, object to path, and then that will give you individual nodes. So if you come over here and you grab your edit path by nodes tool, you can now grab individual nodes in any of these corners. So I could come up here and I could skew this object shape a little bit like this. I'm going to control Z, just set it back to the normal shape. Sometimes you might wanna edit multiple nodes at the same time. So I can hold down shift and I can click multiple of these nodes. And then if I were to move them, it moves two nodes at the same time. So if I were to, for instance, select nodes across from each other, hold down shift, I can move nodes like this and you can do a lot of interesting shapes like that. One thing you might be curious about doing is drawing symmetrical shapes. So what I would like to see is selecting both these bottom nodes and then moving them opposite of each other. So if I were to move one of these out, it'd be nice if this one moved out in the opposite direction. Now you can accomplish something similar by coming up here and going to your path and going to path effects and then click this little plus icon to add a path effect. And over here, you'll see a bunch of options. Look for the mirror symmetry, and you can actually search this. So if you want to narrow your list, look for mirror, click this option here. And you see that it added a mirror image of our path right here. So now if I were to grab this left node and I were to expand it out, you'll see that the right mirrors it exactly. So if I wanted to make this line perfectly align horizontally like this, I could hold down control and that allows me to get the line perfect. So hold control, put it something like that. I might come back up here to my select and transform tool and make sure my object's selected here. And I might go down to my fill and stroke settings and I might turn off the stroke. And so it appears as one solid object like that now. And then I could move this around. Maybe I wanna resize this a little bit like this but at least my object is symmetrical in terms of the angle of these lines on the outer side. Hopefully that's helpful for you. Have fun drawing symmetrical objects with this little tip and stay tuned for more of these tutorials in the future. All right, thanks for watching. Take care.